go. Pew pew. Yeah, to the front, it, it turns you as well. It's kind of funky. I don't know what goes on there. There are the orbs that you can gather. I mean, they're supposed to actually kind of land on you, but it's not all that easy to click and time it. That's his AoE spell that hurts for a decent amount, but I was worried I could just heal up after it anyway. That dragon there is the end guy that you fight, who is more than the pain in the arse. And these are little ads that come up, they're not really a big deal, they die pretty fast, just dot them up. They don't really do a lot of damage compared to the, uh, the big charge spell that the other guys do. And pick your next platform. The aim is to get to the other side, so I was just sticking to the right and hoping that I ended up there. Same again with this guy. Jump on this platform, the lads will come. I think I've done it correctly there. He's supposed to get the bubble around you and take less damage when he does that spell. Basically jump off the platform before he destroys it. Even if you don't find another disc to jump on, it's not a big issue. When you fall down, you don't die, and there's a disc that brings you back up anyway. So don't fret if you don't make it on that. Uh, on this bit as well, these ads, you don't really need to worry about them. You get help in killing them, Targosa shows up and freezes them all to death, so it's not really a massive issue. Here she comes. They have an annoying counter spell. And they're actually uh, involved in the last uh, boss fight too. They come and screw with you and counter spell and put down little bits of fire on the ground for you. They're lovely. At last we have arrived. So this guy is um little shadow bolt thing that he does does a decent amount of damage if you just sit there and take it. Um I believe he gets a buff which heals him. If you're another class that can spell steal, but obviously because I can't, they were nice enough to not put that on there. Um 
he'll blast you with his shadow bolts and then he'll fly over and do a focused laser beam that follows you around. You cannot stand in it. It hurts. All the while, yeah, chance to heal myself. I actually managed to do this way better on another try, but this was the only video that I recorded that showed me doing the whole thing and dying horrifically at the end. He will summon adds as well, so my aim was to actually root those and not have to deal with them. Um, and once I actually got further into this and his health got lower, I, you actually get given a buff, which um, I can't remember whether it was either increasing haste or increasing damage done, but I just had to zerg the boss at that point. Obviously still avoid the flame breath that follows you around the trail of fire. It really was, uh, at first I was trying to heal way too much. I really should have been DPSing more. And I die. Woo. 